Hey kids, Tavi Rider here. I had a request from I'll Take Two on Reddit to demonstrate this. This is double doors with pressure plates indoors and outdoors that open them, but also a switch that disables the outer pressure plates. So let me demonstrate this really quickly. Here, the pressure plates open and close the doors. They open and close at the same time. Very nice and smooth and satisfying. When you go outside, the pressure plates, they do nothing. Now, if we sneak back inside and throw this switch, now the pressure plates work just fine. Now, uh, this is a clean implementation. You don't have to have these holes in the ground. These are just uh, to show off what's going on inside. Uh, and I've color-coded all the circuitry in here with my usual pattern of red is input, blue is output, and green is circuits, gates, that kind of thing. So let me demonstrate what went into making this. Uh, first of all, the outer pressure plates. When the pressure plates are pressed, these two blocks are powered, and that powers the redstone underneath and sends a signal into here. Similarly, the indoor pressure plates power this redstone. And then this arrangement here, we've seen this in other videos. These are uh, pretty typical double door setups with torches, one of them inverted, to open the... Uh, doors that are just above. Uh, this and uh, these two redstone repeaters and this torch all work to invert one of the signals. Uh, so if this redstone right here is powered, it will go through and it will open both doors at the same time. Note that the timing on this redstone repeater is a little bit different from this one so the doors open at the exact same time. So what remains is when the signal comes from the outside, we have to make sure that the switch is flipped on at the same time. So right now, that's the underside of the switch there, powering this redstone that comes down this way. goes in there, and then again, this is the signal from the outdoor pressure plates. And this is an AND gate, a very simple one. And the output of the AND gate comes out here. So the switch has to be on, and the pressure plates have to be pressed in order for the signal to come out here and all that does is join up here. So that has the same effect of pressing the indoor pressure plates. It ends up powering this redstone, which opens the doors. So why would you want to do all of this? Well, if you're on a multiplayer server and you have enemies outside, you can just throw the switch and keep them locked out, presuming there's protection that keeps them from just bashing through the doors. Uh, you could also use this any time that monsters are enabled, because uh, during the day you want to leave the doors working and then at night you want to lock the creeps out so they don't just waltz into your base. So uh, that's it. This world is uh, my world of redstone. I'm going to be publishing 1.0 very soon. Uh, I suggest that you go to reddit.com slash r slash minecraft and search for Tavi Riders World of Redstone and look at the latest version, and you will have this entire setup right there, so you can see it for yourself, try it out. Uh, you'll see lots and lots of other things, too. So, I hope this is helpful. Um, go to Reddit, comment, vote this up, and uh, have fun.